very much. So yeah, so for a little bit before I get into this question, my background is uh, I was an ICBM missile combat crew member in the 80s. And so my idea my person, and of, of what's going on in the world still applies today because my company still does work and I still ask to, to sit on boards when we talk about some uh, far-reaching and forward-leading kind of things. So China certainly from an economic standpoint is a huge threat to us. Um, it's about dependencies. Is about where are we right now when it comes to dependencies on many things that we talked about, whether it's pharmaceuticals, whether it's manufacturing. Um, the other one is Russia. You know, let us not forget that Putin was a hardline KGB guy in the 80s. He's not some nice guy that's been out there, right? He's indoctrinated. This is an opportunity after Glasnost came to be able to come back and put this, the, the Russians um, back on the map. So from a from a Soviet, excuse me, Russian perspective, that's a huge issue that we have to deal with. Iran, look, the president did a great thing by getting out of the Iran deal for a lot of reasons that I can't get into right now. It was a bad deal for us because we had no insight when we were talking about what they were doing to get capability to actually produce nuclear weapons, whether they're clean or dirty. And then, of course, North Korea because of our, of our uh, influence over there in the West. But North Korea, right, is trying to get to that point where they can actually get to us. I would, I would just say that I don't think they're there yet, right? There's more than one thing that you need to actually deliver a nuclear weapon. There's fusing, there's guidance, there's uh, fuel technology, there's a whole bunch of things that's out there that North Korea is not there yet. However, this president is doing everything that he can to make sure that the national security strategy that he put out in 2018 is being implemented. So if you ever have an opportunity, read the NSS because it's exactly what he's doing and he's fighting Ann Custer every, every step of the way because Ann is voting against everything that he wants to do and we gotta put somebody in Congress that understands what the president's trying to do and I'm the guy for it, thank you. Thank you. Eli? So, the biggest threat to America, as I know, as you know, as America has known for quite a while, is Marxism itself. We've seen what's happened with the Marxism leading our cities to burn. We've seen what's happened to the journalist integrity in this country. We've seen what's happened on college campuses, but that is all domestic. When it comes to foreign, it is still Marxism, and it is specifically the Marxism of China. China, they've set up deals around the world. They are working to build a modern day version of colonialism. They're trying to shut out American markets. I believe in free market ideals, but it is quite challenging to actually fulfill free market values when we have China over there. They're undercutting the price of manufacturing. They're undercutting the price of harvesting raw materials. And when they drive American businesses out of business, they can raise their prices. And they can do this because their government is helping subsidize this corrupt, cheating network that is a detriment to free markets across the world. In China, they've had a goal set for decades. They want to see communism across the globe. And they've worked to undermine American freedom every step of the way. Whereas here in America, we with the GOP, we are oftentimes too involved in the near future, too concerned with the recent elections and not having a long-term goal. Where do we want to be as a nation 10, 20, 30 years down the road? We need to ensure we are protecting our American freedom. We need to ensure that we are stopping this socialist growth happening abroad as well as locally. And we will not allow China to become the dominant military force in the world because if that happens, well, it's all over, ladies and gentlemen. So my answer to that question is, of course, as the others have stated, China. But it is an absolutely essential. We realize they have a long-term goal. They're undermining our free market. They're undermining our freedom. And they are wrecking freedom across the globe, as we've seen in Hong Kong.